Slugs. 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 A bit of a problem for the gardener in spring as there's lots of new growth, lots of new seedlings for the slugs to enjoy. And when it's moist and damp in the evenings, they love to come out and munch your plants. During the day, when it's hot, they bury themselves in the soil to stay from being hydrated. There's over 40 species of slugs in the UK and an average garden has up to 10,000 slugs in the garden. So you're never going to get rid of every single slug in the garden. But today I'm going to show you a few things to do to try and prevent them and trying to keep the slug population down in your garden on your allotment. So let me show you. So after a wet day, when the light's starting to fade and it's been a bit damp, come out with your spade, bucket, or even your torch and have a scout around, see what you can find. And you'll see something lurking around in the grass or in the garden. So check underneath all your plant pots, all your plant trays, as you may find some visitors hiding in the trays. Place an item on the grass and check it in the morning. See whether it's got any slugs hiding underneath. Dampen patch of your garden, place a pot or plank of wood just over the surface. Come back the next day and see what we've got. So, another way to catch. Our slugs is to use a mannequin, a little jug, or even just a plastic bottle. Cut the bottom off. Bury the pot in the soil, add some cheap beer into the pot and let them have a drink. Take your container, bury it so it's just above the surface, just so any little beetles don't go in it. Then we can add our beer. There we go.
So the following morning, checking the pots, we got a result. So when this has been done, we take our pot, we got our pot, and we can throw it on the compost heap. The slugs found in the compost heap are good slugs. They eat the decaying matter and they help produce the compost. So they're good. So slugs, they like to swim. So I fill my tray up with water and then hopefully the slugs Which means my cucumber plants. Sorted. So a method that I've also seen is to take a metal tray and some cucumber and place the cucumber on a metal tray. Add a little water. When the cucumber touches the aluminium tray it sends out some smells that the slugs and snails don't like. Interesting. So an age-old tradition was to put copper coins all around your seedlings. But nowadays the coins are not so much copper in them so there's a barrier tape called slug tape and this is a copper tape and this can be added around your pots around your beds and this will detract the slugs from climbing up onto your vegetables or your flowers so another great way it's by saving your eggshells, dry them off on a windowsill, place them in a bag. Cut them nice and small. And then we can use these around our seedlings. Take our seedlings, sprinkle the eggs around. Job done. So another way is attracting frogs, birds, hedgehogs from making a pond. We can make a simple pond just using a washing up bowl. Just bury a bowl, add some rocks so any animals falling in the box can climb out, add a few oxygenating plants and you attract frogs and toads and the birds and hedgehogs will come and eat your slugs. So there's products on the market like slug gone. 
and this is Woolperts, and it's children and pet friendly, soil association approved, and sustainably organic gardening. Highly effective barrier against slugs and snails, contains naturally occurring slow release nutrients, mulching material helps for sane soil moisture. So where are we going to go with this? So we spread the pellets around the baskets, around the vegetables, making a big mulch when it waters. It makes a felt mat and the slugs don't like to walk on it. It gives it a good mulch. We need to water this and the pellets expand and make some mat of felt which the slugs won't like to walk on. So that's just a few that we've caught in the garden this evening just on a quick quarter round. Now we can either add these to a bucket of salty water we can chuck them over the fence or we could give them a new home. They could also just go back in the compost bin and live in there. So I hope that helps in conquering the slugs in your garden or in your vegetable patch. And let me know which of the methods do you use and do you use any other methods? Leave a comment and we'll have a look and see what other methods you're using and that'd be wonderful so thank you very much if you're new to my channel then please subscribe ring that bell get notifications when i post some more so thank you very much cheers